everybody. Welcome back to the Amigos. Uh, we're here, beautiful in Germany. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's beautiful, it's warm, but it's windy. Very windy today. I thought it was meant to die down, but it never did. Oh, Eddie's here. What's up, Eds? Morning, mate. Everything all right? Yeah, just thought I'd come and see you uh, before we have to go to the farm. See if you wanted a ride or if you're taking the... Um, the old bike on this blustery day. Yeah, I can jump in. No worries. Um, yes, yeah, so we've not actually been doing too much. Hold up. Let me get in first. So we've not been doing up to too much recently. Uh, we're having a lot of work done, which is why we're not really at the farm early in the morning at the moment. Just keeping an eye on the feed of the animals. We've been popping down in the afternoon. The fields are all sowed. We're waiting for them to germinate. We was hoping it would be already, but it hasn't. But they're all done. They're dusted. They're ready to go. Um, so yeah, we're waiting for them to germinate. Uh, not a lot on, but we have done a load of work up here, which we'll be uh, happy to show you very shortly. Get the gates then. Have you worked for mowing today? I haven't as of yet. No. <coughs> uh. I thought it might have phoned you, phoned you this afternoon, but... No, not yet. It didn't phone me yet. So, yeah, these fields have been done. Um, there's a lot going on over there, which we will get to shortly. Um, they're not meant to be in this afternoon, these, are they? No, that's why. That's another reason I thought that I'd come and get you to save another vehicle lingering around the farm in their way. Yeah, um, this silage bales are done. They're are they, are they fermented all... enough. They're now in silage. Yeah. Did you test? Did you, when did you test them yesterday? Yes, mate. Sweet. That's that's a nice, pretty penny we can sell then. Yes. And anyone on headset? Both of us are. Hello. Afternoon. Um, afternoon. What time can you call I, this? Uh, I was having breakfast. What, 2.30 in the breakfast. afternoon? Yep, yeah, there's no you... time like the present, mate. When did you get up today? Uh, probably about a half hour ago. Fair enough. But, uh, yeah. Can I borrow either you guys or your... Well, I need one of your trucks. To be fair. The main... We only have one. Yeah, or the truck. I need, I need your truck. Uh, up here at my yard. I need to borrow it. Well, I need to borrow one of you and your truck. What, what do you want to do, Eddie? Do you want to do the silage Eddie, now or yeah. run the truck up? We'll go up with the truck now. We're in the truck. Yeah, we'll run up with the truck now. Yeah, so we've got well, it. I'm in the truck. I'm waiting for you to get in. I'm in. Oh, you made me close the gate. Now I'm going to have to open it again. I didn't make you close the gate. We normally leave the gate open while we're up here. Yeah, but with all the workers around here recently. Ugh, go on, I'm in. Come on, hop in. We're on our way, Owen. Alright, sweet. Like speed of light. Yeah, no cut, no stop, oh. right? Oh, God, this, uh. Oh my God, it's like empty up here. I was going to say it's getting overgrown on the roadway, but my God, is it. Whoa! Whoa! What did you hit? Tree stump. It's all right, it spun me around. I can see yeah. this trailer picking up. I see a few tree stumps. Which trailer is that? Can't see it. Oh. Hang on. Yeah, I need that one. Whoa. What have we got? What are you connecting up with there? Oh, oil. Oil and some logs. Are these the ones we wanted? Yeah. yeah, you wanted the thinner ones, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, because, I mean, we'll, we'll get to it when we get down there, but basically the um, uh, tracked vehicles that they've been using, there's there's a lot of mm -hmm. slippy material when it was wet the other week. So we've got some small logs that they can use as like a, a, a walk weight for the truck. Oh, yeah. The trucks and that. So they can just lay it down and stop getting all caped in the mud and whatnot. But yeah, no, that'll do perfectly. Okay. And got to be cut up to size. They can break it what they need, but just so they've got something down there. Mm. 
And is that the lot you're taking down of Flog? Yeah, that's that's the that's the rest of it. Nice. That is one stock trailer. I tell you that much. I tell you, when you're down there, um, ask them how long it'll be to our last load like, shipment of uh, ready wood will be ready. Thanks. We're gonna yeah. need. Yeah, I mean, when no work ain't going on, building work ain't going until you know it's all winter time. But we're, yeah, we're getting close. It's August. We only got a couple of months before they start physically putting framework up. Yeah. yeah we're gonna need that. Um, right, so right. what should we do? Are we selling everything first and then heading back to the farm? We'll show you well, as well, while we show everyone else. Yeah, oh, you can do it on. No, we we'll, can do it on route. I said we'll do it on route. We'll yeah. put it in the farm on route. Yeah, come on. Because we, we can always go the back way, I guess. Come down the back fields, down the lane. Careful. All right. Well, we'll see you guys back at the farm then. Racer. Not with a full load. There's load? Hell no. Yeah, especially Make not with that start. oil. Are you going to pull in? Yeah. Turning around is going to be a bit of a pain, you realise that? Watch the jackknife. You're saying? Oh, follow me. Come in. No. Come in where I was and jackknife it. He's not going to be able to get out of there now with that node. You ain't going on that out of there, Ace. Yeah. Um, I think he's going to take. Is he? He's going to take, try and take switch back. This would be hilarious. Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Gonna he's going to try and reverse it down that Watch way. Watch the trailer. He's, oh. Watch the pallets. And the bin, 30 point turn. That's it, yeah, just park it up there then if you can get out. Oh. You notice they removed the fence here? Yeah. That's what I told them to. All oh, right, fair enough. I didn't think we was removing any of the fence yet. So yeah, um, what we've ended up doing is we've flattened this land out. They've had diggers in that's been removing this, the top soils. Um, they've uncovered a very nice rock walled feature here uh, that goes quite down. Uh, Rick, I'm not sure what stone it is. Do you know what stone it is, Eddie? Uh, no, I'm not too sure. There was a little bit of limestone, but that came straight out. Um, we took some smaller rocks <sighs> down to be crushed so we could get some gravel from it. Um, and obviously, it has eaten into our field size. But say, so Eddie's plan is to unite these two fields as one and sort of plough in that gap up the top there around the top trees. So we've got one U shaped field. And then this will be the big yard extension. Plans are not, you know, fully in place just yet. Um, mm. It has been, a, what, two or three weeks? And the grass is already, the grass and flowers are already growing in here. Look at that. That's good sort of that is. It, yeah, it kind of makes you wonder if we're making a mistake by building on it, to be honest. But, no, um, never. We, we do need to expand, so. Uh, yeah, so what we're doing at the moment is these little logs. Uh, if I just grab this one out of the way for a sec. Um, the other day, it doesn't look it so at the moment, but the other day it was really caped in mud uh, and they was having trouble. Yeah. So the idea of these logs is just going to sort of build a trackway with them when they need to, so they can move, manoeuvre the diggers and other bits of equipment. Uh, and we just, like we said, yeah, no problem. We know someone who's got a load of logs and probably a load of little offcuts that they don't normally do much with. So that's just going to yeah, the stop part. Yeah, they just get chopped up. They normally just get chopped up anyway. So, yeah, I mean, I think what we'll do is we'll probably get... Um, one of the reasons why we've been trying to get you over here Owen is we probably want you to get this tree down and out of the way for us because we're going to be opening up yeah because yeah, we're going to be opening up this fence line all the way up here to open up this part of the yard even if we cut it down with a chainsaw and you just fly no, get your, I'll, um... I'll bring the big machine down 
Oh, because well, even if you bring like the little truck down with the crane on it, you was like to pick it up and put it yeah. in the trailer, no? Just uh, any time, any time the next sort of, uh, I don't know, couple of weeks, days, whatever. Um, just before yeah. we do any more, because obviously it doesn't matter if it falls this side at the moment. There's no machinery in there. Um, we just obviously don't need it falling into the silo because that would be disastrous. Which is another thing that we yeah. may need your help with later on in the year. Um, Eddie wants to move the silo slightly, which, you know, in theory is a good idea. In practice, is going to be a nightmare. So I was yeah. thinking of getting your flat flatbed on that on the truck there um, and possibly getting a, a crane <laughs> in and sort of hoist it onto your flatbed to move it. Knock it up, son. Knock it up. Oh man, sorry, but yeah, yes. If we get the two flatbeds, it should be all right. Uh, and then, depending on how everything looks, we may want this one moved. What one? Right here. We may uh, want this yeah, one moved, like but that that one that one definitely would have to be machine. Yeah, I think. The no, we do want it removed. You do or want it done. removed. Yeah, get rid of it. Okay. Well, I'll bring the I'll bring the machine down later then. Um so the only thing is I'm obviously the building we don't want to get broken. And obviously we've got right next to the silo. I don't know if that's gonna be an yeah. easy thing for you to do if whether or not you're gonna to have to lock it in pieces or whether or not we wait until we move the silo and then lock it down or something. I'll just I'll take it as one, just not problem. You reckon you get out about damaging the big yeah, okay, down. Yeah, down. take it with the big machine. That'll direct it where to fall. Fair enough. Yeah, it's... So, yeah I mean, there's some ideas that we've got. Is um, Obviously, we can't really smooth this land to this level all the way. Um, believe it or not, that would cost us a hell of a lot more money to remove that much. So what we might do is just sort of wrap this down, slope it. Because we've got an excess amount of soil still. We'll slope it in so it's almost like a slightly double tiered yard area. Um, yeah, it's yeah. it's the sheds. Me, me and Eddie are kind of we're not disagreement. We both want slightly bigger sheds, one for the harvester um, and other equipment. And as we grow, um, we do kind of want modern, and we also want to keep the farm looking the same way as well. So we're kind of arguing over which shed's best suit. Well, not arguing, we just can't agree on one. So we may need you. Yeah, we may need you down the line to flip a coin or something. <laughs> so it's so no one's you know no one's biased. All right. All right. I suppose we better get on and sell some stuff. Yeah, come on, let's go. Uh, there's a lot of room on this trailer now. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm not going to, I mean, I would say we'd put the silage on it, but that'd take too long, especially as we can just hook up to that silage trailer in a minute. Come on, Matt, get in. Hold on, whoa. That would help if you didn't drive off. All right, take your time getting out. Don't rush. We'll have to get those uh, big posts down to be uh, cut up as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure you're going to make that. I'd say go up and do a four or five point turn up at the sawmill. Nah, uh, it'll get around. Ah. Uh, see? Alright, that's all tightened up, Eddie. Yeah. All shut off down there? Yes, mate. Alright. You got the cash? Yes, mate. How do we do? Just shy of 14 grand, 13,700. Uh, we'll call it 14, round it up. That'll be right for now. Um, we've got to go get the... Silage. Uh, yeah, we've got to go get it. <clears throat> so we've just got to pick up the silage, get that sold, and then uh, give Owen his third share. Shouldn't take too long. You got this, you need Aaron backing out? No, I got it. 
getting pretty good with the truck and trailer now. Like a glove. Charming! I disconnect for him and he just shoots off. It's a good thing we're right next to the farm though, isn't it? Right, let's skip around. I'm still going to beat him there. He's really cunning in reverse time. Like. Oh wow, that is parked tight against the wall there. Oh yeah. All right, easy. It's right next to the wall, so you're gonna have to be careful as you come in. Yeah, yeah right. that's it. A little bit closer. Oh, I feel it lifted. Let me do your wires. Hold up. There you go. It's your last one plugged in. Thank you. All right, go on and put it away slowly. Let's make sure. Easy. Yeah, one set of wheels are off the ground there. There we go. Right. Yeah, one sec. Mm. Oh, hello. Back it up, Jimmy. Yeah, back it up. Oh, you've hit that fence post there. Another thing. Maybe, maybe, I'm thinking we could possibly even move the uh, front entrance further up to that new part of the yard. Yeah, could do. Because at least that would make it easier to swing out with the bigger machinery. Yeah. Did anyone check to see if he's in? Yeah, he, he was in, that's why I beeped him, wasn't on the way out. <coughs> oh, he's going to stay open for us then. I thought he closed yeah. early. No, no, no. He's staying oh. open. Uh, right, we're going to have to start oh, calling Bennett. Mm. It's the only part about this I don't like, is having to do it all manually. Oh, right. We'll see you lot in a second. Oh, this is heavy. Hey! Yes, mate. Hang on, I'm here. Hang on, let me come round. Let me shout it. Oh. 40,040. That's not bad. 40, yeah, 40,000 euros ain't too bad at all. Not too shabby at all. Right, I shall do the calculations and get Owen paid in a minute. Is he uh, back at the farm or? I don't know. Yeah, you are, uh, 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 he's on the radio. Oh, there you go. He's on the headset. You can hear us. I oh, will be back in a minute. I oh, will we'll, we'll, we'll be back at the farm. Yeah. Okay. See if we can get there for seven thirty. We can get home before. Like, if we can get all get home to well, go on now. Yours, or Eddie's, or mine. If we get finished and done by eight o'clock. Then they've got that two for two for two on that pizza place. Order a couple yeah, of pizzas. Yeah. If Eddie don't total the van. Oh, uh, that's not guaranteed. No, you just it's smashed into these things. Just smashed into a telegraph pole. That sounds well, like there a goes problem. The phone. There goes the phone signal. Well, I currently can't move. There's a massive truck in my way. I think. Hey, Owen's left his truck here. Did he walk back to his yard? You ain't gonna get around it that way. Hold up. Let's see if he's left his keys in. Whoa! I think the thing just moved. Uh, that's you ain't getting it that loud. Hey! Owen, you shouldn't leave your keys in your vehicles. Well, I'm coming back to it. Alright. I don't, I'll get right there. This thing's got a bit of grunt to it, I'll tell you that much. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, 
right, so uh, at least he got those trees done. Um, he made a right mess of this one, but then he had to use a chainsaw in the end. For some reason that harvester he's got doesn't work on this tree. Probably because it's really thick branches off it. Well, he got was, this one down. Yeah, he got this one down really well. Um, how he managed to get it out without damaging anything, oh, I don't know. That was that was quite impressive. Magician. Uh, although he's left this great big log thing here, I can't lift, I can't shift it at all. It is, I mean, give it a go, that end, I'll get go this end. Hang on, put one of his chainsaws and we're cutting off. Yep, got it. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, blimey. Well, that ain't no uh, light stuff, is it? No. So we've got a little bit of a trunk to get out of there. And somewhere here is the trunk for this tree. There it is. It's alright, I think he's got to get his mulcher thingy to mulch it all down. Well, I'll tell you what, time's kicking on. I think it's... Um, do you, reckon, do you reckon we could get pizza delivered to the farm? Yeah, I think so. I reckon that sounds like, sounds like a plan to me. Right, yeah. till next time on the Amigos, everybody. Till then, this has been May G. Honest Daddy. And uh, Owen is um, hopefully getting his tree-eating machine. And clear all this up. Vulture. So until then, peace out. Peace out. Thank you.